What's up, y'all? Tim Brule Salahari, the Savage Galati, at your service once again. Today, I'm doing another trapline integrated catch and cook, where I catch and cook a fisher cat by frying it into tenders. Got another natural cubby set here underneath this pine tree. Got some rotten fish in the back in the cubby there. Got some sticks guarding number two coil springs on the way in, so the paw is placed on the pan and not outside of the pan. Got these coil springs wired up to the tree here and there's a little bit of raccoon scat here so this is looking promising just have to sift some dirt over these traps and it'll be good to go look at that that is cool wow this is the end of fisher season and the last day that I'm trapping and I ended up with this beautiful fisher Nice medium sized fisher here. Alright, skinning these furs today. Basically, all we're going to do is flip the animal over, cut around the butt area, cut from foot, back foot to back foot, slit down the tail, take the vertebrae out, and then unfurl this fur case style, which means like a tube, off of the animal this way and then off of the head. Alright, so here's the fisher that's been skinned. All I'm going to do is cut slabs of meat off the hind end here until uh, I stripped it bare and then I'm going to fry these, these tenders up, bread them and fry them. Alright, I carved off all the all the little medallions of meat and here they are, ready to be washed off and then fried up. Get this fire started here. Got to cook these tenders over an open campfire. There we go. There we go. First we take a tender, drowse it in flour, then milk, and then cornmeal. There we go, nice and breaded. Got a cast iron skillet here under the fire. Gonna put some oil in there and heat it up. Alright, ready to fry up. We got 13 tenders here. There we go. Man, running out of daylight here, but they're finally cooking. Flipping them now. Right on. There's the first batch. Nice. Little Fisher Nuggets. Very cool. Definitely running out of daylight, but we got our Fisher Tender Nugget here. We're gonna do the taste test. It's definitely a little bit chewy. Tolerable though, I can, I can bite through it. But it tastes musky like a Fisher. If you ever caught a weasel or a mink or a, or a fisher, they have a real fine musk to them, and that carried through with the with the meat here. 
kind of gross. It's like an aftertaste. Nice and crispy though, at least. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> all right, guys. That was not worth all that effort. Jeepers. Not very good tasting. See you on the next one.